MotoGP is the pinnacle of motorcycle racing. Within this elite class, engineers continue to develop sophisticated electronics to push the envelope on track, helping our riders to ensure they can achieve their maximum potential and enable them to be faster and more consistent with every lap they ride. Yamaha has taken this cutting-edge race brake technology and applied it to the highest level of production machinery, the limited edition 2017 YZF R1M. With the R1M, your riding experience will be closer to MotoGP than ever, especially when benefiting from the sophisticated technologies that assist and support you on board to make you feel more comfortable, to improve your riding with more control, to achieve better lap times. This three-part tutorial will cover selected highlights of the YZF R1M's abilities, ensuring you get the best out of your machine with instructions on how to use and operate the unique, user-friendly control systems. Over the next chapters, we'll introduce you to the incredible IMU, the beating heart of the YZF R1M's advanced technology, explaining how it gathers the data essential for making the calculations and adjustments delivered in real time to the bike's systems to control behavior. We will then walk you through, step by step, the seven control systems that give you an unprecedented ability to set up your R1M to your riding style, capability and track conditions. We will explain clearly the variable inputs for power, lift control, slide control, traction control, launch control, quick shifter and electronic race suspension to ensure you get the most from your machine. Finally, we will complete our tutorial with clear instructions on where to find and download the YRC and Y-Track apps. We will explain how to use the amazing apps putting total control of your YZF R1M at your fingertips through your smartphone or tablet. Once you've completed the tutorials, the rest is up to you to get out there and raise your game. In the next video, Chapter 2, we'll take a closer look at the IMU and walk through the control systems.